key, keep it softly spoken. channel so for today we're going to try to make ube kuchinta for the first time so let's see how it will go so for this you will need cassava flour um all-purpose flour oops shadow uh baking soda brown sugar lukewarm water and ube flavoring so i already have my cassava flour here it's about a cup so i'm going to add my all-purpose flour um, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and I'm trying to measure it um, very very well meaning it should be flat on the measuring cup when you add the flour so that's one cup already so I need to add another half a cup let's see where is my measuring cup So, yep, yeah. one and a half cups of all purpose flour, and then we will need to add um, brown sugar as well. So, we will need a cup of brown sugar. So, let's see if I have a cup. I ran out of brown sugar let me go back and get some all right so i ran out of um brown sugar but i have washed sugar so that's what i added here and then um we will need a half a teaspoon of baking soda all of our dry ingredients so I'll whisk them together just so they are incorporated my whisk is actually broken but we're trying to get the most out of it because this is um, color coordinated with the rest of my baking stuff so I don't want to throw it away are you like that too are you also a bit OC about your stuff let me know in the comments section below okay so i think this is well incorporated so i will add um one and sorry not one two and a half two and a half cups of lukewarm water so i think i should add this slowly and at this point um this is where you also want to color your kuchinta some people use anato seeds or some people use red food coloring but for today we'll be using ube okay let's just mix everything together Whisk, whisk, whisk. Make sure you get all of the flour at the bottom and at the sides. Okay. Alright, so we'll add our ube flavor. Maybe we'll add about a teaspoon. Hopefully it colors. It's ooh, it will color. This has it's very pigmented. This brand that I am using. Put that there first. 
look for my color. So this is what I'm using. Garlic. And let's whisk. So if you're not happy with the color, you can just add. Um, but I already can smell the ube flavor. By the way, I'm not a huge ube fan, but I like the color. So, and hopefully, it won't affect the taste that much. Alright, okay. Alright, so what's uh, left to do now is to steam this for 20 minutes. So I will transfer it to our um, silicone molds. I'll clean up a bit and I will be back. So I transferred my mixture on a measuring jug. I'm not sure if I am doing this correctly, if they are overfilled or not. I hope they're not. And they're not at the same height, but if you do this, please try to make it um, to put equal amounts as much as you can on the silicone molds. So uh, I already have my boiling pot ready for me to put these in. I still have some mixture left. There's a, there are lumps, but I'll take care of that later. So I will steam this and I will be back after 20 minutes. Here is the first batch. Uh, it actually took less than 20 minutes. I tested if it's cooked using a chopstick. So as you can see, uh, there is a wetness on the center. And it's, it looks like it collapsed, but it's because of the water droplets from the cover of the steamer. So, if you do this, you'll need to ensure that your steamer has a cloth um, under the cover. So, I will just go ahead and finish up the remaining batter. And I'll come back in a bit. Here's the finished product from the steamer. First batch. This is the second batch. Still inside their silicone molds. So I discovered that uh, the amount of cooking time will depend on how chewy or soft you like your cochinta. So since this is a silicone mold, it's, it's sticky but it still removes quite easily from the container. And it's best if you make sure that it's cooled down first this is still a little bit warm what you can do if you're using a silicon mold is to loosen the sides a little bit before inverting the mold to make it easier for your cochinta to dislodge from the mold yeah there we go Let's see how easy as that all right so for the texture it is soft and chewy there and yeah there. this is what it looks like let's try to focus on that there for the taste it's not too sweet just try it if you like ube, you'll probably want to add more ube flavoring. But since I don't really like ube that much, this works well for me. And it's best to serve this with just um, usual 
yema spread on top. For this recipe, we made 21 um, pieces of kuchinta. Okay, so there you go. My um, uh, The first time I made ube kuchinta, please try it out and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button for more recipes from the newbie cook. See you on my next video! Mmm, set up.